David. A change in Minnesota's marijuana laws may pit people against each other in apartment buildings. As of this summer, landlords have to ban cannabis smoking in multifamily homes. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard is live in Minneapolis. And Corin, some people are upset by the change, and they're calling it discriminatory. Hey, Karen and Tim, for the first year of legalized recreational cannabis, you could smoke as much as you wanted in an apartment complex like this one here behind me. But now you can't. You pretty much have to live in a single family home or a duplex if you want to smoke pot in the privacy of your own home. A public flower bed is the new informal meeting place for pot smokers living in a St. Paul apartment complex. The new law has now forced them outside. The patients I work with are still scared to smoke in their homes. They're still scared they're going to get evicted. I'm scared they're going to get snitched on. Kayla Fearing says she technically needs to drive about 15 minutes from home if she wants to light up. I do. I do see it. I see it very discriminatory. She and her neighbors can't afford to buy or rent single family homes, so they're stuck sharing space and air vents with people who may report them. Obviously, there's going to be some tension that's going to arise when people have an expectation of a smoke-free building and uh, smelling uh, weed. Multifamily Housing Association CEO Cecil Smith says legislators recognize that secondhand cannabis smoke can be unhealthy and objectionable. So landlords will be expected to enforce smoke-free environments if complaints fire up. Fearing hopes that can be avoided. I think we just got to be respectful of people and if your neighbors don't want you smoking, don't smoke. There is one exception to this. It's medical cannabis users. They can still smoke inside apartments, so landlords may actually find enforcement kind of tricky. There are more than 40,000 medical cannabis users in this state, so the Office of Cannabis Management is the ultimate enforcer, and a violation will cost you a $250 fine. Live in Minneapolis, Corn Hogger, Fox 9.